Okay, take that idea and read this question. Two minutes on your own. Go. Unpons. This is another one. It's from either the 90 from 10 years ago or the Rika from 10 years ago. I'm not so sure which one it came from. I couldn't find it, but it's an old question. And I love it because this question here is a great question we can analyze for a mini lesson or instructional strategy. It has, uh, whenever we write an instructional strategy, remember, we write an instructional strategy, right? It always has to have a describe. It always has to give some examples. And it always has to explain why we're going to do it. It has to have these three elements. Whenever you do an instructional strategy or mini lesson, there always has to be these three elements. Like let's say a two or three sentence description, one or two examples, and then a one or two sentence reason why you do something. Now, where's our describe? Well, it's right here. <clears throat> a second grade teacher writes several sentences on the board, covering up one word in each sentence. She or he uncovers the first letter of the, uh, uncovers the first letter of the first covered word and asks the students to guess the word before she uncovers it completely. Or, uh, then the students follow the same procedure with the next sentence. In the example shown below, the students have completed sentence one and two and are currently working on sentence three. So look, there's at least a, uh, a two or three sentence description of the activity. And there are a couple of examples of what this could look like, right? So there's a description, there's an example. And then there's like, why are we doing this? Why are you having students do this? Is this activity going to help them with the VCV words, VCCV words, syllabication? No. Is this activity that you're doing right now that you're describing, is it for compound words and structural word analysis? No. Is it an activity that you would do if you're trying to help them with like, you know, high frequency words, you know, like function words involving like prepositions? No, no, this activity is an activity, a, a might I say a great activity to help FOSS. So it's not involved, it's not involving phonics either, right? This is not an activity <clears throat> like uh, word grids and, and, and say it, move it and write it, which would help with phonics. No, the activity that's being described in this very old, useless question, which might be the key for you to pass in your test. This question here, it's not syllabication, it's not phonics, it's, it's a, an activity to help them with semantic and syntactical context clues. Can you see that? Now look at this team. We have the description of the activity. We have examples of the activity. And now here's the why we would do the activity. Why do you do this activity? This act, imagine if you were to write this on the day of the test, like after you're doing your, you're doing your instructional strategy for your essay and you have your describe, right? You do a, uh, you do a great describe and you also give examples. And then they ask you to explain, explain, you know, explain why you're doing this. And you say, we do this because imagine this. <clears throat> I like to think of it as like this. Um, Imagine, follow with me now. This is going to help you with your essay. Imagine you were teaching a lesson on the board. Your students are watching. <laughs> right? And the principal walks into the room. And they come into your room. And they're in your room. And you know those awkward situations. The principal walks in one day pretending like they're, they're, they're nobody. And they're just like, why? They're like, I'm, I'm just going to observe you teaching your lesson. And, and they're like doing that teacher observation thing, which is always really awkward and uncomfortable for everyone in a weird sort of way, you know, cause they're, they're there, but not supposed to be there. And you're teaching your lesson. And if you're a principal, just, just laugh and just go with it. Cause that's how everyone feels when, you know, you come in the room, but just, you hear me, right? The principal comes in the room and it's a little awkward. And then uh, you teach your lesson and they're like, great job. And then they go to leave. And just before they leave, they turn back and they look at you and they say, why'd you do it? And, and they just want a one or two sentence explanation. They don't want, they just want real quick, why'd you do it? Why'd you do that awesome activity uh, as a test? So in one or two sentences, your explain has to, has to explain exactly why you did that. So imagine if you said this, 
They're, you're, they're walking out. They turn back. They look at you. And they say, why'd you do it? And then you say to them, this activity will promote the student's word identification skills by helping them use semantic and syntactical clues in identifying unknown words in a passage. And then the principal is like, okay, I'll leave you alone and I'll never come back till the end of the year. Goodbye, right? Because you gave them a one or two sentence awesome, juicy explanation. That's what you want to do when writing your instructional strategy. You want to have it described, two or three sentences. You want to provide examples, a couple of them, one or two. And then you got to make sure that your, your why or your explanation in one or two sentences is really juicy. It's a really juicy one or two sentence. It doesn't have to be a lot. We're not looking for a lot. We're looking for one or two sentences that blow them away, okay, so they never bother you again. Or in this case right here, and if you're a principal, I'm, I'm doing this for the teachers that are in this class right now, and hopefully they can enjoy it, okay? Because they know what it feels like. And obviously you were, if you're a principal, hopefully you were in the classroom at one point too, and you know exactly what I'm talking about with that situation, or, or maybe you do, maybe you don't, and just go with it because it's gonna help out these other teachers that are in this class right now, just uh, um, make this a memorable moment. Team, th this is a juicy answer, the question, which is the answer C, is giving you, and this whole thing is giving you an instructional strategy, an amazing structural strategy to help a student with context clues if they lack it, okay? All right, that's it. Question is C from this test that I'm not so sure uh, where it came from, from 10 years ago. I think it's the RECA um, or the, the 90, but it's over 10 years old and you get a review of all these ideas, right? In this section that we've spent a lot of time on involving word identification, okay? We've talked about the top uh, strategies students use or don't use. And then in this series of videos that we've just done, I've tried to review these ideas and also point out uh, instructional strategies you could use to help a student if they ever struggled with these ideas, okay? All right, um, team, time for the first essay that's where we're going now so grab some food get some coffee and and let's do the first essay okay all right uh i'll see you there